What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and in this video we're gonna be doing something really awesome. We're gonna be doing some tattooing in this video. We're not gonna be tattooing me or Cody, though I really would like to be doing that. But instead what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be tattooing a pumpkin. Considering the fact that the holidays are right around the corner, I thought what better way to celebrate those than by doing some good old tattooing. Especially on a damn pumpkin. But Joe, can you even tattoo a pumpkin? You can. In fact, I did a video a long time ago here on After Prison Show about how to learn how to tattoo where we actually tattooed some fruit. In that video, we didn't tattoo any pumpkins. By the way, is pumpkin even a fruit? Pumpkins do have seeds in them, so I'm thinking they are a fruit. But regardless of whatever a pumpkin is, in this video, we're gonna be tattooing one. And you know, I've been seeing people carve all sorts of really awesome things into pumpkins. I haven't, however, ever seen anybody tattoo one of these things. So I figured, why don't we do that here today and also tattoo something I think would look pretty damn cool. And what it is we're gonna be tattooing on this pumpkin is a picture like so. Now you may be wondering how we got this picture onto this right here. And I gotta assure you, this was not an easy damn thing. I tried to do this just as I had done many times in the past when I used to tattoo back when I was in prison. And the way I went about doing that was actually by taking a ballpoint pen and tracing this image on the back of this paper. The next thing that I used was this speed stick deodorant right here. I put it all over the surface of the pumpkin and then I put that image right there over top of that deodorant, pressed down, and when I peeled it away, I mean, it wasn't exactly a perfect stencil, but it is there enough to where I feel we're gonna be able to tattoo this thing. You can also see where I've taken a Sharpie marker. I've tried to outline it, but the Sharpie marker was too thick, but you can just faintly see the outline of this stencil right here on this pumpkin. So again, this is what we're gonna be tattooing. Now I wanna throw in a little footnote to all of this before we begin. You know in prison there are certain superstitions and one that I had myself while I was locked up was any time that I would be tattooing. If I went to put on whatever stencil it was that I was getting ready to tattoo on somebody and that stencil didn't come out perfect the very first time, I mean it never failed. That was a sign that told me how exactly that tattoo was gonna go. If that stencil didn't come out perfectly that very first time and it took me multiple Multiple attempts to get that stencil on that person just right, I knew right then and there that that would end up being a tattoo that was an absolute disaster. And with the fact that this stencil didn't come out exactly perfect the very first time, however, we only stenciled it one time, God, I'm hoping this tattoo on this pumpkin comes out pretty damn good. So what we're gonna be using to do this tattoo is the tattoo equipment that I got a long time ago off of Amazon. This tattoo machine right here, this tattoo power supply right here, and this black and gray tattoo ink as well. Now this tattoo equipment that I have is by far the absolute bottom of the barrel. In fact, on Amazon, I'm quite sure that this tattoo kit probably has like at least, at least two stars. I'm pretty damn sure it doesn't have five stars. I'm thinking this is like a two star tattoo kit that we're gonna be using to do this tattoo. And what we've got on this tattoo machine is a big old seven round needle. That means there's a seven needles on this thing positioned round. And I want to use this big old needle because I want this tattoo to be nice and bold here on our pumpkin. Again, we're only going to be using two colors of ink for this tattoo, black and also gray. That way we can do some shading. When it comes time for us to actually shade this pumpkin tattoo, we're going to switch needles and we're going to go to a seven round shader. Oh, and real quick, in case I didn't mention, the needle on here is a seven round liner. So that's everything that we're going to be using to do this tattoo. Aside from some caps to put the ink in, and also a damp paper towel to wipe away where we're tattooing. Now I have to say this as well, this is my first time trying to carry out a relatively extensive type of tattoo on a piece of fruit. Again, I really hope a pumpkin is a fruit because if it's not, I'm gonna look really stupid. So I am hoping that even with the fact that this stencil didn't come onto this pumpkin so well, that this tattoo still comes out pretty awesome. With all of that being mentioned, let's go ahead and get into some prison pumpkin tattooing. We're going to go ahead and start by hooking up the power. We got that hooked up. Put that off to the side for one second. Let's go ahead and get our ink. First thing we need to do is shake her up. Shake her up. Oh. I'm shaking up tattoo ink. Black ink is shooken up. Let's go ahead and put that into our cap right like so. Bop, 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 bop. Got us a good little amount of ink to start with. Right there, we don't need this deodorant anymore. Go ahead and close this top. We know some ink's gonna come out. So we'll get that last little drop right there. It was a bubble, it wasn't even a drop. Put that off to the side. We'll put the stencil 
right here because I may need to be looking at this stencil again because there are some parts of this that, well, they're just a little light. Don't need the ink pen. Let's go ahead and crank on the machine. Make sure everything looks like it's good to go. Hey, yo, why you got that much needle hanging out, man? Good Lord! What you about to perform? Open heart surgery on me? That's exactly what I'm getting ready to do. Now I'm gonna need you to stay as still as you possibly can. Try to blank out any noise that you may hear. I know it sounds scary. I know it sounds a little, it sounds a little intimidating, doesn't it? Just go ahead and close your eyes and pretend that you're not in prison right now, Mr. Pumpkin. All right, let's go. Roll up the sleeves. I got my Bob Vila shirt on. Everybody keeps saying this is a scare shirt. I like to refer to it as the Bob Vila, this old house shirt. Or tool time. Go ahead and suck us up some ink. Keep the ink over here. Wish me luck, we're going in. Stop sliding, pumpkin, stop sliding. I don't know if this sheet was a good idea. You're doing a little too much moving right here, pumpkin. I see a little plasma coming out. Oh my God, it's almost like doing a real tattoo. Oh yeah. How's that feel? I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that away because ah, that's gonna get a little messy. I like to try to keep myself as clean as I possibly can while doing a tattoo. Ooh. Good Lord, Pumpkin, you just started leaking everywhere. What happened to you? Keep it together, Pumpkin. Why are you crying so much? And you can see our first line on our pumpkin looks really nice. Nice and clean. Nice and deep as well. My God, you're gonna be you're gonna be scarred up, Mr. Pumpkin. But sometimes on fruit, you gotta go a little deeper. Leaking. You're leaking pretty bad, pumpkin. I might be going a little too deep on you. I hope you're gonna be all right, because if not, you have to go to medical and you're gonna have to tell them something happened to you. And you better not tell them I did it. Don't you tell them I did it. I'm trying to wipe off the Sharpie marker. That's a little thick up there, but it's coming off. Now, the one thing that definitely sucks about tattooing this is there's ridges in this pumpkin. So it's not exactly easy to go in between these ridges, but we're trying to make it work the best that we can. pumpkin. Were you drinking last night? You sure you weren't drinking? You ain't supposed to drink before you get a tattoo. You sure you wanted this tattoo? I mean, you seem like you might be a little drunk right now. You know, if this pumpkin was a person, I would, I'm wondering what part of their body they'd be getting this tattoo. This might be some Junies. There's a good possibility I'm tattooing pumpkin Junies right now. All right, we gotta be very careful getting near the bottom of this thing because that's where all the detail is. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go right into that detail. Oh, Pumpkin, you're leaking bad. Pumpkin, you peed yourself. All right, this is where it's gonna get a little tricky, Pumpkin. I'm gonna need you to just trust me, all right? We lost a piece of the stencil. I need you to trust me. See what we've done so far. Just got one more little part to outline, and then we can move on. Pumpkin, you are leaking. You're leaking pretty bad, pumpkin. 
you're leaking pretty bad. All right, we've got an outline on our pumpkin. Hopefully, it's not so bad. Now, we got a couple more lines we got to add in here that we didn't get a chance to add because we were going through some technical difficulties trying to hurry up and get the outline on here. So, we're going to go ahead and add these lines. I gotta be honest with you. That definitely doesn't look so bad. I told you, Pumpkin, you were crying for nothing. You thought I was gonna mess you up. You kept saying if I messed you up, we was gonna be in the bathroom putting our shoes on. Once this thing is done, though, it's gonna look really cool because we're gonna put some gray shading in here. We've got some, uh, we've got some black color work we need to do as well. Joe, you did a damn good job. I don't know why you don't tattoo pumpkins more often. Million dollar business idea right there. Pumpkin tattoo specialist. We're taking that to Shark Tank. Pretty proud of that. I mean, I really am. That looks pretty good. For a pumpkin, at least. All right, next. We gotta switch out our needles because we're getting ready to go to shade mode. Get us one of these big old seven round shaders. Oh my God, that's a lot of needle. That's a lot of needle. Now I'm sure there's a better needle that you can use for this, for the coloring that we're getting ready to do because we're getting ready to color the eyes in, the nose in. We're getting ready to do some major black work on this uh, pumpkin tattoo. But for the sake of what we're doing, we're just gonna go with what we got. So we're gonna stick with the black ink. We're gonna go ahead and color the eyes, the nose in. Anything that really needs this black work. And now it's eyeball time. Now we could probably turn the machine down for sure. If this was a real person, we definitely would have turned the machine down for this. Holy moly, hope I don't get ink on the carpet. And you can see that's already starting to really blacken that in. How you doing, Mr. Pumpkin? You hanging in there? Hey, you still with me? Feel like the pumpkin passed out. Definitely some black ink. You know, in prison, trying to make black ink is not exactly the easiest thing in the world. I mean, you can make ink, but trying to make the darkest, blackest ink, I mean, it really involves some science behind it. You'll make ink that'll turn green, you'll make ink that'll turn blue, but trying to make ink that stays black that is not an easy thing to do. I mean, you have to have tons of soot, alcohol, whether it's alcohol pads or alcohol rub, and just a little bit of water. But even with that, I mean, it is a super delicate balance trying to ensure that that ink will stay as black, as dark as it possibly can. Because you gotta imagine, when you're tattooing guys in prison, you're gonna be there with them for a couple of years. So if you go about tattooing a guy and you say, hey man, I got the darkest ink on the compound, and he trusts you to do that tattoo, and then two years later you're seeing this guy walking around with a blue or green tattoo, he could definitely be bringing some problems your way. And if you're ever wondering if I went about telling guys that I had the darkest ink on the compound, I did not, especially for that reason. I would tell guys, hey, I tattoo. I'm probably one of the cheapest guys on this compound. I can't guarantee that in two years your tattoo ain't gonna turn blue or green or purple or fall off. But I'm telling you right now, for $5, we'll go ahead and tattoo your whole back, whatever you want. You ready? Moving right along. Look at how that's taken. I mean, that is just, this is awesome being able to do this. For those of you out there who may be wanting to experiment with tattooing, I can't think of a better way to going about doing so than doing so right here like we're doing on a, on a pumpkin. I would also advise that if you were to try this, pick an image that's not so complicated. The image that we've chosen really isn't that complicated of an image, but again, I would just advise that you pick something that's relatively easy. Let's go ahead and move on to the big old eyeball right here. Now you can see as we're tattooing this, you can see I'm going in there, but I can, after wiping away, I can see spots that still need to be hit. Now if this was a real person that I was tattooing, or I definitely would not be coloring on the speed that we're on right now. I mean, technically when you color, you wanna slow the machine down, 
But I mean, this is just a pumpkin. Going back, hitting these spots that need to be hit. And then moving on quickly, because you don't want to stay in the same spot where you risk chewing up the skin, especially coloring on this high, especially coloring on this high speed that we're coloring on. You guys, let me know what you're thinking of this so far. You think this thing looks good? I think that looks super cool. All right. What we need to do now is we need to clean out our barrel because we're about to switch over to some gray. The gray is what's really going to make this thing pop. This thing is going to look super awesome with this gray ink in here with this black. So what we're going to do to clean this out, we're going to take our other ink cap. We're going to put some water in here, run our gun in that. It's going to shoot all of the ink out of there. It's going to take a little bit, but we're going to clean this out right now. Now we're gonna run the gun into a rag. And that should be relatively cleaned out. Again, if this was a person, we would be taking a lot more precaution with this. Another ink cap, gray ink. Let's go ahead and shake this up. Make sure it's nice and shaking, you hear? With our ink shook up, let's go ahead and put some ink into our new cap. See if we can work some magic with some gray. Now we're gonna be very, very light with this. Look at that gray ink. Definitely tell it's a lighter color right there. I gotta be honest, even though it's only a pumpkin that we're tattooing right here, sucker sure bringing me back. It's taking me back to those good old days when I was sitting in a prison cell doing some tattooing. Weren't nothing good about them days. Tell you what, that shading really brings this whole thing out. Thinking that's about it. Let's go ahead and clean this sucker off and see what we got. Pumpkin, your skin is so dried out. We've been tattooing you for about an hour now. So what do you guys think? I gotta be honest with you, I think it came out really good. Again, this is my first time tattooing a pumpkin. Hell, I haven't been tattooing in quite a while actually, and just doing this right here has got me kind of having the itch again. I figured we'd try something new in this video and thank God it worked. Again, with that whole stencil superstition thing. But I really think this thing turned out awesome and I really wanna know what you think. Do you think I did a right job on this? Again, hey, if you wanna learn how to tattoo, what better way to do so than with a two-star tattoo kit and a pumpkin? And at least that way, you ain't gotta worry about messing yourself up or anybody else for that matter. And believe me, messing up a tattoo while you're in prison? Let me just go ahead and tell you from experience, that ain't a good thing to do. Hey, look, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did so, please leave a like and a comment. Let me know exactly what you thought about all this. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted. Go get you a pumpkin that you can tattoo yourself and make the most of every day. Peace!